Lost your car keys? Don't worry, you could just open the door with your face. I'm Bridget Carey, this is your CNET Update. What if your car opened the doors not with a key, but by scanning your face? That's just one example of new technology Toyota is working on now as part of a new partnership with Microsoft. A new group called Toyota Connected will focus on technology for tomorrow's vehicles. Say your hands are full with groceries or you're carrying luggage, the car's rear camera will scan your face, see that your hands are full, and pop open the back hatch automatically. Let's just hope you don't have an evil twin that wants to borrow your car. The team is also looking at new ways to gather data on drivers with vehicles that report on hazards in the road ahead, and then that info can help warn other drivers on the same road or offer immediate rerouting. A system like this also aims to solve our parking woes. In one example from Toyota, if you're driving to the airport, the car could automatically recommend where to park so you don't waste time hunting for a spot. It also could remind you when you're due for a service tune-up and schedule it for you. I think most of us just rather have an app tell us where the car is when you forgot where you parked. As cars work to get smarter, Siri has been studying up on baseball stats. Apple's voice-activated digital assistant can now answer a wide range of baseball game statistics. And it's not just Major League Baseball, but also 27 other leagues, including minor and international leagues. Meanwhile, BlackBerry still is fighting to be a part of your messaging life. BlackBerry is dropping the subscription plan for the privacy features of the BlackBerry Messenger app, which used to cost a dollar a month. The privacy features included Retract, which lets you delete a message already sent, and Timer, which put a limit on how long someone could view a message or photo before it's self-destructed. But remember, the app cannot stop someone from taking a screenshot before it disappears. And finally, it seems there's some trouble in virtual reality land when it comes to the delivery of the new Oculus Rift and the HTC Vive headsets. The CEO of Oculus wrote in a tweet that the first Rift headsets are shipping out slower than estimated, so the company is giving free shipping for all pre-orders. Meanwhile, over at the competition, some HTC Vive customers had their credit card orders canceled as they were purchases flagged as fraud. HTC said in a blog post that it is working to fix the canceled orders and to not have those customers wait longer to get their gear. That's all for this Tech News Roundup, and for more details on these VR headsets, you can check out CNET.com. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.